Mark McKenna is a paedophile. Mark McKenna. But the men approaching him are not police officers, they're members of a paedophile hunting group. It's not looking good for you, is it? No, 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 no. They lured McKenna to this shopping centre by posing as an 11-year-old girl on the internet. It was their evidence which led to McKenna's conviction and he was jailed for five years. Called the hunted one, they're ordinary parents who gather evidence like this of online child sexual grooming by paedophiles. And they're just one of more than a dozen now operating in Britain. Could you describe this as citizen justice? We don't want no pats on the backs. We're not heroes. We, we just see something seriously wrong. And we're just trying to, to help out. It's not right. Uh, we went out with another hunter called Shane, also trying to trap an alleged paedophile. The man is on his way. The paedophile hunter is waiting in his van, ready to approach him. He's told this alleged paedophile that the girl is 13 years old and that she's skipping school to meet him. He pulled up in a white van. Wearing a hidden camera, Shane suddenly sees the alleged paedophile. He rushes over to the man's van. But then this happens. The man has realised it's a trap. What's that number plate? And he's gone. Stings don't always go to plan. The hunter groups insist they are needed to help the police. Saying and crying, they've got no money, no resources, no funding. You know, there isn't enough people in the teams to do this sort of stuff, so leave it to people like me. Yeah, I actually care this? about the investigation. Hunter groups have emerged in the past two years and have now become part of our criminal justice system. But it's only now the full extent of their work can be seen. The BBC has discovered that there are at least 15 paedophile hunting groups now operating in Britain. Just four of those claim to have been responsible for 159 arrests. In all, hunter group evidence has led to 92 convictions. In some ways, they're becoming a parallel police force. There are no official statistics to back up their claims or know what the courts really think of them. But others are now suggesting that if these groups act responsibly, then the police should not dismiss them. Although the police do exactly the same as these groups do, they are not able to guarantee that they'll intervene in each and every case before a child is hurt. I'm sure the public would prefer that the police help these groups to do the job properly, rather than that they rebuff these groups and then children get hurt as a consequence. But the police say these groups are dangerous and say there's no place in Britain for a backup police force. I believe they are vigilantes, they are taking the law into their own hands and they are taking, in my view, uh, risks which are simply not acceptable. And the risks that they are posing to children are simply inappropriate. How old was the girl? All these men were convicted with the help of evidence from paedophile hunters. The criminal justice system has never seen anything like it. The public systematically targeting this most vile of crimes. Duncan Kennedy, BBC News.